What's going on guys? Uh, Jake here. Uh, we just installed this Pioneer DMH WT 6000 NEX into a customer's uh, 21 Kia Soul. Fits in there pretty nice, looks pretty good. Figure I'd give a, a quick demo on it. It is Pioneer's new unit. It does have the new light bar up top. Uh, it is a Apple CarPlay Android Auto both wired or wireless does bluetooth does hd radio uh does a little bit of everything honestly i only played around with it for a few minutes of course i, I can't do a crazy demo on it but i figure i kind of hit on some of the key things i've noticed one it does have some buttons on the top here you know it's got volume and stuff quick mute button around the the trim it does have like a, it's just like a silver. I think some of the older Pioneers used to be like a chrome. This is more of like a, um, like a, like a silver or like a dark gray, maybe even like a graphite color. 10.1 inch touchscreen, uh, very responsive. Like I said, it does do HD radio. You got your track left, track right. Uh, let's see figure some things out here of course I got the the volume down or whatever so I don't get uh flagged on on YouTube you got your presets on the side here you just press and hold it'll save whatever channel as a preset you do get a lot of different presets so you got FM 1 2 and 3 each group has six different presets that you can save same thing with AM it looks like AM maybe has one or two you got your uh, quick microphone button to activate Siri or Google, whatever. Uh, depends on what you're using, whether it's iPhone or Android. You got your home button here on the side, brings up the home screen. There are a lot of different sources that you can use. Uh, it does look like Pioneer has different apps that also allow for better connectivity, uh, but for Real quick, and for our purposes today, we are using Apple CarPlay. We did hook up a backup camera for the customer. So the backup camera does work. Also, the steering wheel controls do work perfectly fine on this one. Let's show you CarPlay real quick. So you do got CarPlay. Of course, you got your phone. From here, you got your favorites, any of your recents. Uh, contacts you can dial by number if you want to with it being an iPhone we do have the Apple Maps you can use Waze navigation and Google Maps as well text messages uh, the unit will read you the text message ask if you'd like to respond but they won't allow you to read it on the screen obviously they want to keep your eyes on the road and then any of your other music apps and supported apps through CarPlay Like I said, 10.1 inch screen, so very large, very responsive. Uh, I believe the RCA pre-outs on the back, we are, we do have a kicker uh, sound system in this, so we did kicker KS speakers in the, uh, the front, kicker KS speakers in the rear. Under the seat here, we did do a kicker five channel, they're 600.5, and then in the back we do have their new kicker, I think it's called like the, uh, the TB, sub it's like the little bazooka tube looking thing um so basically the pre-outs on this we also like this radio because it is four volt pre-outs so nice high voltage pre-outs which kind of helps keep out any kind of alternator whine and stuff like that or radiated noise so it is a nice strong high quality audio signal out and uh I'm not gonna lie i kind of like this unit uh pioneer's gone through some changes and I'm not always the biggest fan of some of their radios, but this one, uh, this one gets my approval, man. It's pretty nice. If you got any questions on it, let me know. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Like I said, this is the first one uh, that we got a chance to put in. Also, actually, while I'm on it, I almost forgot the light bar up here. A, right now, it's just kind of like in a little demo mode, kind of dances. Right now, the music's technically playing, even though I got the volume down, so it's kind of just doing its little thing with that. When the vehicle is off, let's see if I can show you. It does kind of blink red. I'm not sure if it's going to do it while we're on. 
what I'm trying to show you. But it does blink red periodically. There you go. And that's kind of like a nice kind of anti-theft, uh, you know, if somebody's looking in the, in the car and they see the red light kind of flashing. Their idea is that it will kind of deter somebody. They'll think you got a security system, you know, whatever. Uh, but what's also nice is if you are doing navigation and you're coming up to a turn, if it's a left turn, right turn, uh, we'll give you kind of little indicators there. And then of course it's got the, uh, uh, they, they like the ambient lighting side of it, so you can kind of pick whatever color you want. Right now it's on rainbow. Uh, and then it's got like the DJ effect where it can kind of dance to the music, so. And that's what I see what's going on here. Like I said, any questions, let me know. I'll try to help you out. Sorry it's not the most detailed video, but you know, sometimes little things like this help people kind of make the, make the decision, kind of feel it out. I think it's worth the buy, not even though I got it up pretty tight against the dash, so it doesn't have to stick out far. Uh, you're talking maybe, maybe, maybe an inch off the dash, maybe. Um, but even with it being extended out, it's real nice and sturdy. It's secured in with nice metal brackets and stuff, so it's it's not like plastic brackets holding it up and off. It is is nice and sturdy and and tight. So check it out. Thanks, guys. See ya.